What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. So if any of you follow me over on Instagram at The Simple Consultant, you'd know that for the last couple days, Connie and I were kind of on a little weekend getaway, a little mini vacation over at the beach. We had some fun in the sun. We were chilling in the sand, in the water. It was a whole lot of fun, guys, I gotta be honest. But we've since returned to the real world. And uh, yeah, I'm back here in the office filming an episode for you guys. And listen, I don't mind, okay? I don't mind, I love it. I love doing work and like, paying bills and just being an adult. Like who wants to spend all their time at the beach with no real obligations, just playing with little crabs and mermaids and swimming with dolphins and eating really good food and drinking fruity drinks and stuff. Who wants to do that? That sounds stupid. <laughs> sounds just so dumb. Anyway, okay, I was posting a bunch of pictures of the two watches that I brought with me on this little trip, and I was getting a bunch of questions from you guys asking me how exactly I go about choosing which watches I bring with me when I travel. And that's a really interesting question. So I'm gonna share with you the two watches that I brought with me. We're gonna talk about why I chose them, and then we're gonna kind of finish up with my vacation watch criteria. It's 4.25 p.m. Let's get down to business. Now guys, I'm currently wearing my Rolex Bubbleback 2940. I did not bring this watch on my trip, but I did bring two really cool watches. The first one being my Boulder Odyssey Vintage Black Limited Edition. Now this is a really, really cool dive watch in my collection. Only a hundred of these vintage black models were made. It's got a 45.5 millimeter case. It's powered by a Swiss STP 111 automatic movement. You're getting a 44 hour power reserve, You're getting hacking and hand wind. It's got a 500 meter water resistance rating with a threaded crown, of course. It's got a double domed sapphire crystal. It's got a helium escape valve over by the nine o'clock. And if you look at the dial on these indexes, it's got that awesome faux patina. Obviously it's called the vintage black. So this is gonna look kind of like a vintage watch. And uh, you're getting that aesthetic from old radium super loom. So everybody asks with that faux patina, does it still light up? Yeah, the loom looks amazing on this watch. Even the pip has that old radium super loom and it looks amazing. Uh, and I'm wearing it on a factory boulder isoframe style strap. And the second watch I brought for this trip was my Frederic Constant Moon Timer. Now this amazing dress watch has a 43 millimeter case and I know that sounds big, but I think it wears perfectly on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's powered by the FC330 automatic movement. Of course, it's got hacking and hand wind. Of course, it has a sapphire crystal. But what you might not know is this dress watch has a 100 meter water resistance rating with a threaded crown. Very, very cool. Cool. So if you couldn't tell, when I'm on vacation, I like having a sports watch to wear during the day and kind of a dress watch to wear when I'm going out to dinner or just for the evening. So I don't pull just any sports watch or any dress watch from my collection to take with me on a trip. No, 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 that's amateur. Come on guys, I'm the time teller here. I have some vacation watch criteria. Number one, I always take into consideration the location of my vacation. That sounds awesome, what I just said. That's very cool. Now this one's kind of obvious, right? Like for instance, Connie and I were at the beach. We were in and out of the water, by the sand, by the harbor. So I wanted watches that had a decent water resistance rating. That's why both of the watches I chose had a threaded crown and at least a 100 meter water resistance rating. Now, I hear a lot of watch aficionados say that your vacation watch needs to be super inexpensive. And I don't totally agree with that. I don't think price has a ton to do with it. However, I would not travel with something that you feel is totally irreplaceable. Also, kind of piggy backing on that point, I'm probably not gonna travel with like a super fragile watch. I'm gonna want something that's pretty sturdy and something I don't have to baby. Cause let's be honest, the more you travel around, the more you move around, the more likely something is to go wrong, especially if you're flying. And if you are flying with your watches, okay, here's a bit of advice, listen up, do not keep them in a checked bag, do not, okay? Bad idea, always keep them in your carry-on. Airlines lose luggage all the time, it happens regularly. They do not wanna admit it, but it happens a lot and you do not want to be on the phone arguing with some customer service rep about how you need reimbursement for your watch. It would be a total bummer, a total waste of time, and it would be a huge headache. Just keep it in your carry-on. So yeah, I mean, both the watches I took on this little trip are very sturdy. They're definitely not fragile. Now, they're by no means cheap watches, and honestly, if I did lose them, it would kind of suck. I mean, this Frederic Constant specifically, it's been discontinued, and the prices on these have just skyrocketed, but it's not like it's totally irreplaceable. 
But yeah, I had a blast with these two little travel companions. I think they made great vacation watches, but I wanna hear from you. What do you look for for your vacation watches and do you only travel with your least expensive pieces? Leave me a comment, I wanna hear from you. Now guys, if I can find them, I'm gonna be leaving links to both of my vacation watches in the description below. So click those links and check them out or you can go to the Time Teller shop. So click the link in the description below, shop around. It really does help the channel out a ton when you do that, so thank you so much. And if you're new here, if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, I wanna say thank you so much for stopping by. Why don't you click that subscribe button? It takes one second, it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't wanna miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.